hello and welcome in this video I'm gonna show you how to enter and exit vehicle using blueprints so this is basically called position so how to possess a vehicle and vice versa so the first thing to do is to find the sport car pawn and click on that it's gonna open we're gonna choose the mesh and add a box collision let's call it radius or anything you like like enter the uh, like enter boundary quite radius because this is the way I checked another uh, tutorial doing it so now we're gonna choose the select uh, and scaling tool and position and scale the boundary box in a way uh, so that the player can get so the so the think uh, he can get possessed by the player while the player gets into a specific zone we don't want the box to be very big or very small i think we should tweak it a bit further later so now we're gonna add the vehicle always make sure to um, add it using the its blueprint not the model itself like I just did now we're gonna add uh, E key this is uh, the key we use to detect when the per uh, when the player presses the button the keyboard and now we're gonna select the uh, for each loop so we're gonna branch from this and select it for each loop the purpose of this for each loop is to find the overlapping actor so we'll add this as well this will basically allow us to find when the character uh, inter uh, or uh, overlaps the radius that we just built and trigger that so the e won't uh, e key won't just trigger the without the actor being near the car so with this filter here we're gonna uh, filter just to the car pour and not other cars and now we're gonna get the player controller and branch that into possess this is a very handy node that allows you to possess whatever you select after that and don't forget to cast to sport car pawn prior to that so what we basically did is create a node for the e key so it can trigger the, the character to possess the vehicle now it's uh, turn to do almost the same for the vehicle blu blueprint uh, so we're gonna select e again then get actor of class this also get all actors of class and remember to just select the one without the all then we're gonna select the class we're gonna select the uh, third person blueprint then we're gonna uh, set the actor uh, to visible and hide it because we previously hid it it's usually better to hide than destruct the character and create it again uh, then we get the player the character the controller uh, use the possess again but this time we're gonna possess the uh, vehicle so as you can see there's sometimes like uh, some of the nodes have similar name like get all actors of class there's like get actor of class the same for get player control is there's i think like get character or something so you have to be careful i did a couple of mistakes i left them on purpose so you can see that mistakes happen and how to fix them uh, don't forget to tick the uh, hidden uh, box and don't forget to untick the hidden box for when you unpossess so after we possess now we tidy bit the uh, lines a bit yeah so it looks a little bit more neat 
so now we'll test it and see go near the vehicle press e and we can drive if we press e again we'll go out if, but if you notice there's an issue uh, the character uh, spawns back at the original location so to fix the issue of the player spawning uh, like miles away from the car if you if you have driven it far away um, we have to go back to the vehicle uh, blueprint the controller blueprint then add an arrow component this arrow is like the position we're gonna use uh, to pinpoint uh, where the character should spawn we can rename it whatever rename it to a name that you can memorize so we can recall it back from the blueprint like player out position player placeholder then we move the arrow uh, maybe let's say a meter or so like three four feet away from the car preferably from the driver's side and uh, around the ground level uh, it's i think it's better to leave it a bit outside of the radius bonding box so it doesn't clash i don't think it will matter but better safe than sorry usually it's uh, nice to visualize how the character will be outside of the car so you can add as a child of uh, uh, the mesh another mesh uh, of the character maybe the Gwen character or any other third person character you have this will allow you to visualize how it will look uh, so you just add the mesh using the add button as a child then add the select the mesh uh, from the uh, drop down menu also remember to set the object as hidden in game so it doesn't show while you're playing and it's also uh, best to disable uh, collisions so it doesn't affect other collisions and objects and assets and actors So now we have to go back to the event graph uh, and, and make space for another node. So we want to set transform. So this set actor transform this will make it uh, so this will make it possible for us to move the uh, character based on the cars. Uh, uh, play out position using the arrow we created now you you just have to drag the player out position so you have a reference to it and you get the web position so you get accurate position and, and we will use this as a reference for the character so we uh, just uh, click to split the transform as shown so you can see all uh, three possible uh, movements so we we'll plug the uh, location and the rotation we we'll leave the scale as is so this will help us like with pinpoint accuracy to place the character near the car so don't forget to put teleport this will help you like with when the character has like physics so it doesn't jiggle you you can see it check it and, and check it and see the difference i think it's better to put it make sure all lines are correct we start the game and press e to get inside and we drive the vehicle and it's working then we go out and now the character is spawned at the correct location near the car's door so that's it for now uh, stay tuned for next video in the series please don't forget to like and subscribe this is very important so that i can make more videos it takes a lot of time for me to uh, fix issues uh, come up with the ideas uh, video record them and stuff and then edit i would really appreciate it thanks